have a list of 101 frugal tips and habits for you today. I have come up with a lot of frugal tips and habits on my channel on previous videos, and I'm fairly sure I have not repeated any. So these should be new to you if you have listened to any of my previous videos. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jennifer. I make videos all about saving money through being frugal and implementing minimalism. I am also documenting our journey to paying off our home. By the year of 2024, it will be so fun to be mortgage free and ultimately being financially independent. So if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along. I like to do these videos very quickly because I know your time is precious, so let's get started. Number one, if it is winter time where you are, go ahead and buy frozen vegetables. They are a lot more expensive in the winter time than in the summer. Number two, brush and floss your teeth. Dental work is extremely expensive, and unless you like eating baby food, you need them. Number three, if you have brownies or cookies that you have overbaked and are a little bit stiff, do not throw them away. Put them in a container, an airtight container, and add a slice of bread. That slice of bread will become hard as a rock and it will make your brownies or your cookies nice and moist. Trust me, just try it. Number four, set a timer on your phone for your shower. See just how fast you can get in and out of there. Number five, check the insulation strips around your doors. Those can let air in and out if they're not sealed properly. They can also let little weird bugs in and out too, so. Number six, put a sticky note on your refrigerator letting you know that there are leftovers in your refrigerator. For some reason, sometimes we forget about these things or they get shoved to the back and then they start growing mold. If we have a sticky note on the front, we're more likely to remember them and go ahead and grab them on our way out to work that day. Number seven, do you have any friendless socks or socks that are fairly worn out? Use them for dusting. These are awesome. They slip right over your hand so your hand doesn't get any of the dusting stuff on them or the dust and they can go along any surface. I love using these for dusting. Number eight, before you put anything with a zipper in the washing machine, make sure it is buttoned and zipped up. These things can actually become knives if they are left open in your washing machine or dryer. So when you take them off, button up your jeans, zip them up, same thing with hoodies. Number nine, use the weekends to bulk cook. Reheat or use frozen meals that you have made from the weekend during your busy weekdays. This will definitely save you from eating out. Number nine, do not roll your socks. Stack them. Why do I say that? Well, when you roll a sock, you end up stretching out the top of it so it doesn't fit as well around your ankle. If you don't ever roll them, they stay nicer and put together for longer. Number 11, have you had trouble finding coupons to some of your favorite things in the store? How about writing to the company and saying, hey, I love your product, but I can never find a coupon. I have done this even for bananas. I have never seen a coupon for a banana, but I have written to whatever that banana company is, and that banana company sent me a coupon for bananas. Number 12, if something is bad or wrong with the food you've purchased and you can't take it back to the grocery store, maybe it's been a little while or you don't have the receipt, contact the manufacturer. We have done this twice within the past couple of years. The first time was with my husband's Sun Chips. So he loves Sun Chips. He opened up a bag of Sun Chips. I think it may have been the Garden Taste, whichever one that one was, and there was literally no flavoring. It was the plain Sun Chips. So he wrote to the Sun Chip people, whoever that is, and they sent us several coupons for big, large bags that we were able to get for free. They were free coupons. The second was the time that I got Briar's ice cream. Now this was back before I stopped eating ice cream, meaning like dairy, and it was the, I think it was like the birthday brownie chunk ice cream, something like that. And there were no chunks in the ice cream. I loved that ice cream because of the chunks and there was none in it. So we wrote two briars and they sent us coupons. I got another carton 
and there were chunks in it. Number 13, rather than throwing away vegetable scraps when you're making a meal, save those and make a stock. Number 14, do not fall for get rich quick schemes. They are becoming more and more prevalent as people are currently possibly desperate for money. So please be careful. I am going to have a couple of videos on this particular topic coming up soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. Number 15, think of a downturn in the economy as a good thing. A lot of times if you are in a good financial position and there is a downturn in the economy, you could actually do very well with investments and buying low so that when the upturn comes, you have a large return. Number 16, reduce portion sizes on your food. Not only will you end up saving money because you won't be eating as much, but you will likely become healthier. And let's be honest, portion sizes, especially when you go to a restaurant, have gotten out of control. Number 17, reuse envelopes from junk mail or bills as somewhere to write down your grocery list or notes. There's no reason to waste that paper. Number 18, buy only timeless jewelry. Skip the junk jewelry. Number 19, buy clothes that fit you now, not clothes that you hope to fit in when you lose a little bit of weight. Number 20, are you having a family gathering? Rather than you being the one to cook and bring everything, how about you cook the main part of the meal and assign everybody else to bring sides or products, paper products, etc., to do the serving? So let's say you want to make hot dogs and you have the hot dogs, the buns, hamburgers. Have everybody else maybe bring the chips, um, some slaw, the things that go on the hamburgers. That actually makes for a lot less expensive and fun because those people feel like they were involved in part of the party. Number 21 is one of my favorites, eat breakfast for dinner. Whatever your favorite breakfast is, breakfast tends to be a much less expensive meal to cook, and I love breakfast for dinner. Some people call it Brenner. Number 22, do not buy a house with a lot of storage space. It will trick you into thinking you need to fill that storage space up with stuff. Number 23, don't really want to get rid of your credit cards yet, but you know you shouldn't be using them, put them in a safe. It'll be a whole lot less easy for you to reach for them if they are not in your wallet or within an easy grabbing area. Number 24, do you have an Aldi grocery store near you? If you do, try it out. Trust me, I have saved tons of money by going to Aldi for my groceries. Number 25, you want to go to a restaurant and eat out. Choose to go out for lunch versus dinner. You will save a lot of money. Number 26, don't overbuy for kids' clothes each season. We know kids grow rapidly, but sometimes we go a little bit ham and choose a little too much clothing and they don't end up wearing it or wearing it out during that season. Number 27 is be nice. Believe it or not, be nice can get you a lot of things. Maybe a better job, maybe a discount, you never know. Try being nice. Number 28, make your own peanut butter crackers. Who says you have to buy pre-made peanut butter crackers? Why don't you just get a jar of peanut butter and a sleeve of crackers? There you go. Number 29, make extra principal payments on your mortgage or car payment. Even if it's an additional $20 a month, it will make a difference in the time that you can get that paid off and reduce the amount of interest you pay. Number 30 is to find a second or a third source of income. Now, that is not meaning that you have to work all of the time. It could be something that is a hobby that you will earn income from that you will also enjoy. But maybe look into this if you are looking to become more financially independent, pay off debt, etc. Number 31 is to think for yourself. Number 32, buy for Christmas and birthdays throughout the year when something is on sale rather than rushing and paying the full price or overprice closer to that holiday. Number 33, do you have a hobby? You could make extra income from it. Number 34, keep detailed records of your car's maintenance. This is great for resale value to show that you took care and maintained that vehicle. Number 35, if you are hell-bent on having a credit card, then only have one. This will be a whole lot easier to keep track of and will limit the amount of debt you have access to. Number 36, audit your subscriptions. Subscriptions are big these days, so go through your monthly account and see what those little charges add up to. See which ones you might be able to get rid of. Number 37, watch 
the checkout monitor at every store you're at. Make sure everything is being rung up correctly and not duplicated. Number 38 is to avoid the lifestyle creep. You know, where you start making more money, you start feeling like you need to spend more too. Number 39, chew your food. Eat slowly and do not eat while watching TV or being on your phone. Number 40 is to know where the best gas prices are. Make sure that you try to always hit those gas stations up versus getting something from maybe an area that's more expensive. Number 41, compare your prescription cost at different pharmacies. You do not have to be pharmacy loyal. Number 42, cut back on who you buy Christmas or birthday gifts for. This may also make the other person happy as well because they feel like they don't have to return the favor and they may not be in the financial means of doing so. This will also be a lot less stressful. It is far too stressful to try to find the perfect gift for someone once or even twice a year. Number 43, use meat as a side item on your plate or with your meal versus having it as a main course. Number 44, do you like doing something that most people don't and could you possibly get paid to do it? Such examples would be mowing lawns, blowing leaves, maybe cleaning houses. There might be some money there. Number 45, when shopping for cars, definitely consider what type of gas that that car recommends you use. If it requires you to use or recommends you use premium gas, you might think twice because premium gas is fairly expensive. Number 46, if you're at the grocery store, something's on sale and it's out of stock, ask for a rain check on that sale. That way you can go back when it is in stock, but maybe not on sale and get it at the price it was when it was on sale. Number 47, pay your insurance premiums annually versus monthly, which charge an extra fee for you to do so. Number 48, follow money saving and frugal YouTubers. This will help you to stay on course and stay motivated and help you learn proven methods to manage money successfully. Number 49, stop driving like you are a NASCAR driver. Number one, you're not. Number two, it is not good for your car. Number three, it will cause you to use a lot of gas. And number four, possibly get speeding tickets. Number 50, do not shop during busy times. You are more likely to rush and not review the unit cost for an item or possible cheaper alternatives. Number 51, be wary of product labels. Just because it's labeled organic or gluten-free doesn't mean it wasn't an organic or gluten-free product in the first place. Believe it or not, people use this tactic to charge more and to think that their product is better when it was always organic or gluten-free previous to being labeled that way. Number 52, put 20% or more down on a mortgage for a home to make sure you do not have to pay PMI, property mortgage insurance. Big waste of money. Number 53, limit costly outings such as bowling, skating, or any other type of expensive event to special occasions only. If you do it less often, you'll save money, and when you actually go to do those things, they won't be more meaningful. Number 54, after using your razor, dry it off. It will prolong the life of the razor. Number 55, make sure you're reading your bills monthly. Check them out, peruse them properly, see if there's any errors, or potential increases. Number 56, travel during the off season. You're going to save money. That doesn't mean you have to go to the beach in the winter time. It could mean that you just go maybe a week before or a week after the peak season. Number 57, reinvent new meals from leftovers. My favorite example is taking mashed potatoes and making them into potato cakes. Number 58, make more soups and chilies. They are usually less expensive they stretch further and they're definitely easier to freeze. Number 59, check clothing labels for the care instructions before purchasing. Try to skip those dry clean only items. Number 60, use lamps at night instead of overhead lighting. Number 61, sell stuff you don't want. Number 62, use plastic shopping bags as bathroom trash can liners. Number 63, are you a student or a senior citizen? Always ask if there's a discount wherever it is you go. Number 64, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. Number 65, shop at farmer's markets. Number 66, for kids, buy the next size up at the end of the season when those items are on sale so that they can use them for the next season. 
Number 67, consider blackout curtains for areas in your home that get a lot of heat and sun in the summer. This will definitely help to reduce your electricity bills. Number 68, sinking funds. Do I need to make a separate video on sinking funds? I could. Number 69, bring your own breakfast and lunch to work. Number 70, when you're furniture shopping, check the back rooms. That's where they have typically the clearance items, which could be just gently damaged or could be custom items that somebody just didn't end up doing the final purchase on. Number 71, water down juices, especially for kids. Number 72, install ceiling fans. Number 73, pay more on your credit card debt or student loans. Number 74, if you're cooking something small, try using the toaster oven versus heating up the big oven. Number 75, have a game night at home. Do homemade pizzas and get movie snacks from the dollar store. Number 76, instead of buying awkward school pictures, look into hiring a photographer. You'll not only help a small business, but you're probably gonna get pictures that not only you are proud of, but your kids aren't embarrassed of. Number 77, free kids entertainment pack a picnic, and go to the park. Number 78, when getting a pet, think very seriously. They are very expensive and they live a long time, unless it's a goldfish. In that case, maybe not. Number 79, use things until they break, not until they are out of style. Number 80, do not overeat. Number 81, research Pinterest for DIY anything. Number 82, research what is tax deductible in your area you could be missing out on big savings. Number 83, do not feed table scraps to pets. Again, vet bills are very expensive. Number 84, monthly meal plan instead of weekly meal planning. Trust me, just try it. Number 85, set a limit on how many times a month you want to eat out and plug those dates into your monthly meal plan. Number 86, declutter your home and keep it organized. Number 87, when shopping at the grocery store, reach to the back of the shelf. Make sure you get the furthest expiration date that you can find. Number 88, use overripe fruits for muffins and smoothies. Number 89, save gift bags and reuse them. Number 90, stop buying expensive dog treats. Often you could just give your dog a few of their own kibbles and they think it is special. It not only will save you money, but sometimes is a lot healthier. Number 91, drink a glass of water before every meal. Number 92, save shopping bags for lunches or treats you're bringing to somebody else or if you're sending someone home with your clutter. Number 93, try having a meatless Monday, every Monday. Number 94, use toilet paper like it is hard to find, circa 2020. Number 95, have your heating and air conditioning system professionally maintained twice a year. Number 96, online shopping, make sure you choose sites that have free shipping and returns. Number 97, group your errands together so that you use less gas. Number 98, shop the clearance on websites. It is a whole lot easier than going to a store and sorting through the clearance and you could easily sort by the size that you need. Number 99, stop one bad or expensive habit. Number 100, be grateful for what you have. Number 101 is the most important. Realize that emergencies, mistakes, and unplanned expenses happen. Give yourself grace. If you made it to the end of this, congratulations. Tell me down below if you got to the end of the 101 frugal tips and habits. I love hearing from you. I also love learning from you all. So if you have any other tips and habits, put those down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you back for more videos. Mm -hmm.